Creaky faucet, creaky floor. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's lifestyle video is going to be one to kick off the fall season. I'm going to be cleaning out my pantry. It turned into this hot mess and I think it is time to tackle it. And I wanted to bring you guys with me and do it together. And maybe I can motivate you guys to do a little bit of organization of your own. I hope it gets you in the cleaning and organization spirit. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future. Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the very first thing I did after freaking out a little bit once I opened the door was just completely clear everything out of the pantry. I think this is the best way to go whenever you're tackling any huge project like this is just take everything out and that way I could start sorting through everything, determining what needed to be refilled, what I needed to get rid of, what I needed to organize in a different way. And after I took everything completely off, it was time to clean off all the shelves. So I took some disinfecting wipes and went shelf by shelf and just completely cleaned everything off. The only thing I didn't move was the, the stuff at the very bottom because I got to that very last. So as you can see, it was so difficult to get around this mess that I created. So I decided to transport everything to the kitchen table and started organizing everything on there. So the very first thing I did was refill all of these airtight containers that I have. I refilled everything that needed to be re refilled. I relabeled all of the jars that needed to be relabeled. Uh, basically, whenever I'm organizing the pantry, I don't like to keep things in boxes. I don't like to keep things in bags. I like to put everything in an airtight container so it stays fresh for a lot longer. And it's a lot easier for me to identify what I have, what I'm running low on. Good tip for these little containers is if you're storing something that you don't normally cook like these udon noodles in my case i cut out the instructions and i tape it to the back of the container that way i don't have to spend time online trying to figure out how to cook them i just have everything right there at my fingertips another tip that i can give you guys is if you have a lot of the same type of food item you can really condense them all into one container for example we had all of these different types of walnuts in different bags so i just put them all into one container and labeled it mixed nuts. And then I started assembling all of the airtight containers on my shelves. I kind of put like the baking stuff at the very top because that's the stuff that I don't use as often. Another thing that I love using in the pantry and just in any little corner are these little spinning things. I think they're also by the same brand, especially corners. I feel like you always have a lot of waste of space because you can never really get in there and you can't really stack things behind each other because then they're difficult to read. So these little spinning things are perfect for those corners. Another favorite organizer is this three-tiered uh, organizer stepping thing. This is great for things like pastas, canned goods, box goods. So anytime that I have any type of soup or anything like that, I like to put it on here because you can easily see everything. And then next we have this really cool organizer that I actually showed in a past organizing video. I use this in my bathroom as well. I find this perfect for two things, popcorn because it fits so perfectly and we are popcorn fanatics. This is also perfect for those little snacks that you grab and go because it pulls out like a drawer. So I just took everything out of the, their boxes and put them in this organizer. So another thing that I think helps tremendously in a pantry are baskets. I have three different types of baskets here. One of them I actually made and I think this is perfect for like chips and things like that or just any snacks that you need to close up. And I'm gonna show you how to make this. It's super easy. All you need is some sort of hemp string or rope material, a glue gun, and any box that you have. I just used an old shoe box. You basically just glue as you wrap the string around it. And then it creates this really pretty basket looking thing. And it just adds to the uniformity. So if you don't want to go out and buy a bunch of baskets, you can totally do this with a bunch of different boxes. Have it all look super neat. And you can even add a label to it if you want. But I decided to use this basket for my onions and my potatoes because it makes it really easy to access them. And I think it just looks really cute. I didn't even cover the pink up because honestly, I love pink and I thought it looked super cute. So I used the deeper baskets for a snack bin and then I used another deeper bin for all of the backup stuff. So after I was done filling up the airtight containers, anything that was left over, I put that in one of these bins so that I know that I have a backup bin of anything. 
And then the shallow bins, I use those to put kitchen gadgets. Gadgets that I don't use on an everyday basis, but I still want to remember that I have them. Like my food processor, my mixer, this guacamole thing, and then all of my sushi essentials in a completely different bin. So then I just put the deeper bins and the shelf underneath that. And I think it just looks way more organized this way instead of having everything all over the place. And then I also use some of the bins for backup supplies like paper towels and things like that. And now I'm getting to the very last part of the pantry, which I don't think you should ever neglect the floor. I think it's also really good storage. So I just cleaned it off really quickly. And then I use these black bins that I also got from Bed Bath & Beyond and use those to store Nala's food, backup paper plates, and things like that. And that is the finished result. As you can see, everything has a place. I kind of try to apply this motto to my entire home, but if something doesn't have a place, then it shouldn't be in your home. It's just clutter. My pantry is actually really skinny right now because we haven't gone grocery shopping, but when I go grocery shopping, there's going to be room for everything. Of course, I'm not telling you guys you need the same organization tools that I use in this video, whether you get them from the dollar store, Target, or the container store. It's all about uniformity and making them look the same and having things contained so that they're not all over the place. I am so happy with the way it turned out. I feel like I just want to stare at my pantry all day. And if you're new to my channel, I put out beauty videos during the week and lifestyle videos similar to this during Sundays. So I hope to have you guys as part of my YouTube family. So you can take this opportunity to subscribe to my channel by either clicking the subscribe button that's above my head or you can scroll all the way down in the description box and there's a little link that says subscribe here. You can click on that and that way you will be notified of any future uploads that I have and I won't get lost in the YouTube shuffle. And I will talk to you guys on my next video. Mwah. Bye.